Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over how to access the recovery mode on a Mac with Apple Silicon M1 processor, and this probably applies to future processors too. On previous Macs, you would hold down Command R to enter the recovery mode. There's a different method on these new Macs. So this Mac is currently on. So what I'm going to do is first I'll shut it down, and then I'll boot it up by holding down the power button, and I'll hold it down until a screen comes up with a little gear. You'll see that when I get there. So I'll shut it down now. Okay, we have a boot screen here. It says loading startup options. And now we have a little gear with options. So I'm going to take my finger off the button. And it says Macintosh hard drive or options. So I'll click on options. I'll hit continue. Now it's asking me to log in. So I'll click on my account. I'll hit next. Type in my password. Now it's giving us different options here. We can restore from Time Machine. We can reinstall macOS Big Sur. You can open up Safari and you can open up Disk Utility. So if you're having trouble with your Mac, something you might do is open up Disk Utility here. Hit continue. So if I want to do disk first aid on this, I'll click on the Macintosh hard drive. I'll hit first aid. I'll hit run. It'll ask for my password. So I'll type that in. I'll unlock that, and now it will scan the disk for errors. Now I'm just running this for an example. Hopefully I don't have any errors. This is a brand new computer, and I haven't been running it long, so it shouldn't have any errors on here. Okay, so that finished successfully. I'll hit Done. I'll close out of Disk Utility by hitting the little red X here. You can also quit it with the menu. And then we come back to this screen. Now it looks like you have four options here, but if you go up to utilities here, you can do the startup security utility, terminal, or share desk. I'll click on terminal here, and you can type commands in here. There are instances if you want to use certain system extensions and such, you have to go in here and disable some security. I'm not going into that in this video. And then they also have share disk. This replaced target disk mode. Another thing worth mentioning is that if you go up here to the upper right, you can click on this and access your Wi-Fi. This already pulled the Wi-Fi from my account, so it connected right up. But if for some reason, say you take this Mac to a new network, you can connect to Wi-Fi using this feature to do your recovery and such. So once you've completed everything you need to do, you can go up here to the Apple menu and you can choose a startup disk, you can restart or shut down. So that's how you boot into recovery mode on one of these new Macs running Apple Silicon, and in this case it's the M1 processor. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.